here. We have a fantastic episode in the works for tonight. The entire cast is backstage, getting everything ready for this historic event, our 49th episode. <laughs> As you know, 49 Episodes is a huge landmark for a television show. It's halfway to that magical 98th episode. <laughs> and 49 is just a great number in general. 49? It's the last year before you're old. <laughs> it's a prime number, if you're bad at math. It's the closest numerical rhyme to porcupine. Ouch. And actually, it's still pretty old. 49% is an F. The 49th state is Alaska, a place so great they pay you to live there. And 49 is really special to me. Steve Young, your number was eight. Yeah, but I, I played for... San Francisco, I know. What? Episode 49 is the time for looking back. How many of you remember this classic moment from episode 48? Roll it. Right. Not to mention the cast of a sketch comedy show changes a lot over 49 episodes. <laughs> Check out that frame. Crazy. <laughs> so enjoy this special episode. Wait, we're doing something special this episode? No. And enjoy these 49 pieces of confetti. Thanks for 49 episodes! <laughs> of Studio C. That's, that's big for us, and uh, we look forward to the next 49. Can I help you, ma'am? Uh, yeah, I'm just looking for a new sweater. Okay, perfect. We have a great maternity section over there. It's perfect for pregnant. <sighs> How dare you assume I'm pregnant? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't say pregnant. I said present. Uh, I have a present for you. Okay. Congratulations. It's a coupon for weight loss. Why do I have this? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Matt Center, your source for Matt Mees failures. Tell me, Matt, how do you feel about your performance tonight? Uh, not good. Uh, hold on, do I really have a channel dedicated to my failures? Oh, of course not. Okay, good, I was worried. You have two channels. <laughs> Spanish Matt Center is very popular. Bienvenido al Centro de Mateo, su fuente para cada falla de Mateo. So, Matt, how does it feel to once again stick your foot in your mouth? In my defense, she was deceptively not pregnant. Okay, let's bring in former fail coach and current Matt Center analyst to see if he agrees. Coach Harkey. Is this Matt's fault? Oh, of course it is. And let me break it down for you on the instant replays. All right, now here, here he notices the belly. And it's like I always tell my players, no matter how big the womb, you never assume. Okay, but she had the distinct shape of a pregnant woman. Okay, son, what if she swallowed a basketball? What? Uh-huh. Or what if there's an alien trapped inside her body parasitically feeding on her life forces? Huh? How stupid are you gonna feel when an extraterrestrial pops out of her body and threatens the presidents of the Americas? What are we talking about right now? Okay, uh, we are receiving breaking news that an epic sale has just been made by Matt's rival co-worker, Derek Green. Derek Verde. Que bueno! <laughs> Derek, how were you able to make that sale tonight? You know, I just left it all out on the shoe aisle, man. Well, are you kidding me? Why are you interviewing Derek? No one cares about Derek. Is it true that you were drafted by J.C. Penny right out of high school? Yeah, it was. You know, I considered going to college, but they offered me $8.25 an hour plus commission. Clearly, you made the right choice. Uh, clearly, everyone here is an idiot. <laughs> Derek, you've been hot all December. Why do you think that is? Christmas. 
Man, I owe everything to Christmas. La Navidad. Qué bueno. And how have you been able to overcome adversity? You know, a lot of people counted us out before this holiday season started. But you know, my sales team, we got a lot of pride. And it just goes to show we got the greatest customers in the world. Without them, we wouldn't even be here right now. Oh, give me a break. He's just using a bunch of dumb department store cliches. Which I didn't even know that was a thing until now. Derek, do you have anything to say to the kids that are watching right now? Yeah. Any sale is possible! Woo! Oh, and he gets a trophy too now? Come on! What is that? Forget this, I don't need any of this noise. Oh! oh. Uh, just take my wallet. Power! That's definitely making the top 10 fails tonight. El top 10. Que bueno! So, I'm really pregnant in real life, but for this sketch, I'm not showing enough yet. So I'm wearing a pregnancy belly on top of my pregnant belly. You know you're jealous. Everyone, I'd like you to meet our newest member and my freshly graduated son, James. Hello. Hi. Well, since graduation is synonymous with unemployment these days, I figured I'd abandon my morals and embrace the noble tradition of nepotism. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just kidding about that. No, you've, you've come to the right place, James. A nonprofit charity for endangered animals? No, son, it's time I told you the truth. We're not a charity. We're members of the New York Times Bestsellers Committee. <laughs> so, what's with the laugh? You sound... evil. Not evil, just ambitious, greedy, and lacking any respect for the human race. <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm Cynthia. I put books on the bestsellers list so I can make them popular, write terrible screenplays, and sell them to Hollywood. <laughs> well... That explains a lot. And you can call me Mr. Gibbs. I accept bribes from publishers and use my riches to buy dead animals. <laughs> my name's Ferdinand, and I don't know how to read. <laughs> well, well, now that you've met everyone, why don't you take a seat and we'll get started. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just go to grad school instead of... Nonsense, son. Leave now and we'd have to kill you. <laughs> this guy, he's always... Oh, you're serious. Sit down. <laughs> Cynthia? My suggestion for this week is Grace Harper and the Army of Mermaid Robots. Um, Dad, that sounds terrible. It is. It's a Harry Potter and Hunger Games knockoff. I'll make millions, won't we, Kitty? <laughs> My book is called The How To, How To Write a How To Book Book by Howie Bookman. Well, I'm confused. As will be the thousands who buy it. Then I'll peddle Howie Bookman's How To Read the How To, How To Write a How To Book Book. Now that's the kind of thinking I can respect. Yes, dibs on the movie rights. Thanks to Howie, I'll finally complete my stuffed zoo. <laughs> Ferdinand, what do you got for us this week? Well, I'm torn between two things. This takeout menu from a Chinese restaurant or this child's drawing of a giraffe. Ooh, a giraffe. Those aren't even books. Why not both? <laughs> you can't be serious. People look to the bestsellers list to know what to read, and you're abusing that power. Now, son. No, I'm sorry, but you cannot just popularize terrible books and make money off of it. You'll ruin the world of literature. Oh, please, we ruined it a long time ago. How else do you explain wildly successful yet horribly depressing books like Grapes of Wrath? Yes, and its TV adaptation, Bananas in Pajamas. <laughs> what? Join us, James, or I'll put your 
journal on the New York Times bestsellers list. How did you... Fine. Well played, father. <laughs> Welcome back to our coverage of the game of the year between Yale and North Carolina. If you're just joining us, we have witnessed an unbelievably well-fought match tonight, and it's come down to penalty kicks. Peterson for Yale, taking the first approach. Spectacular! North Carolina's goalkeeper Richards just let one in past him now. So now the burden rests on Yale's Scott Sterling. Here he comes. Nerves of steel, that man. Dealing with more pressure now than a submarine. <laughs> Indeed. Home crowd showing some appreciation. Johnson places the ball on the spot, getting ready. That man literally has a cannon for a leg. Yes, he does. Here he goes, winding up for the shot, and... Oh! The cannon has fired and hit Sterling directly to the face! We clocked that at a stunning 116 kilometers per hour. Now that's a lot of miles per hour! Little chance that man's nose is not broken right now. <laughs> oh, indeed. Now Sterling getting checked out for that one. Spectacular save, though, but sadly, he's not out of the woods yet. On his feet now, a bit shaken. But not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> this crowd absolutely loves this man. And Sterling's teammates welcome him back a hero for now. He yells up again for the second attempt, looking to make it 2-0. He approaches the ball with some determination. Here he goes. Oh! oh, it's high and wide, way off target. Yes, apparently he thought he was kicking a field goal. <laughs> Wrong kind of football, I'd say. <laughs> Good show. Back now to Scott Sterling. He looks a bit worse for wear, but ready for round two. And Shaw takes a moment. Here he goes with the approach. Oh! oh! Sterling with a fantastic dive. The ball flies straight through his hands and once again strikes him straight in the schnoz. And let's see it again on the old instant replay. Oh, every excruciating <laughs> detail captured in HD perfection. Clocked at 129 kilometers per hour. Yeah, right. Sterling does not look well. Two wonderful saves and two definite concussions. They may replace him at this point. He's done all he can. Yes, as his trainer takes him off the field like a mustached lion dragging a gazelle through the Serengeti. Adieu, Scott Sterling. Adieu. Yale now with their third PK. Richens is in the goal, bouncing like an infant girl. The crowd holds their breath as he goes in. Here it comes! Oh! oh very anticlimactic. Let's see who they got to replace Scott Sterling. Scott Sterling is back! He's still in the game! Oh my! And he's taking a very odd tactic now. Seems to be curling up to protect his face. Not exactly a recommended technique, but here it goes. Wait, no, no. Lampert needs to tie his shoe. Ho <laughs> ho! And that's why you do a double knot, kids. Sterling, still waiting for the kick to happen. He's probably wondering when. Oh! Sweet butter crumpet! My The donkey. ball drills Sterling right in the face! That man's nose must be absolutely devastated! He's gonna look like a witch that flew her broom into her nose and then crashed into a hammer! I hardly even care about this attempt! Let's go back to Scott, Scott Sterling, Sterling! The man! The myth! The, the legend. legend! Three perfect blocks by Sterling and his cat-like face reflexes! Absolutely incredible! Though I must say, Sterling does not look well at all. Well, um, you know football players like to add a bit of drama, don't they? They're gonna take him out. No, wait! They brought him a chair! Oh, a bold move by the manager! Indeed. Bain sets up for the fourth attempt. And this, frankly, is a gimme. He literally just has to kick it anywhere except where Sterling is sitting. There is no possible way that North Carolina can mess up this shot. Oh! oh! 158 kilometers per hour! This man can do no wrong! Look at him beg for mercy when it's mercy that should be begging for him! He has looked death in the eye and said, take your best shot! To which death replies by punching him in the face over and over and over again. If Yale makes this final shot, it's all over. But no! Oh, he misses, which means we're going to Scott, Scott Sterling! Sterling! His face is like a brick wall. A brick wall that can feel pain and cries a lot. But where is Sterling? Oh, he seems to be crawling away from the goal. What is he doing? He's throwing away the match! Oh! oh! Sterling has done the impossible! Oh! I can't believe it! Look at that! He made it just right! What incredible instincts to crawl away from the goal like that! And his teammates rush the field, happy as a lark as they slide in! <laughs> <laughs> a 
Panini sculpture ah, of a finish. As his teammates carry him off on the stretcher of glory, <laughs> we thank you for sharing this absolutely heart-stopping finish. Scott Sterling and his face of steel have won it all. Man, I cannot believe that ending. I know, right? Who knew Hugh Jackman could hit those high notes? Right? <laughs> These X-Men movies are getting so weird. <laughs> All right, nobody move! Oh. Give me a wallet! Oh, you don't have to do this, man. Hey, hey, just show your face, man, or I'm gonna... Oh my goodness, Dave? Yes? Dave Vance, Leland High, class of 05? It's, it's me, Tyler Dixon. What? Tyler? No <laughs> way, man. Hey. I didn't even recognize you. Oh, I know. It's been a while. Yeah. How, how you been? Great, just living the dream. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember Chad. Yeah, yeah, yeah Chad Tanner. What's uh, up, What's up, man? Yeah, Chad. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we had Mrs. Smeaton for geometry. OK. <laughs> Kind of sounds familiar, yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, now give me your money! Okay. You don't have to do this. Yeah, man, remember in geometry how, how good you were at the Pythagorean theorem? It's so, ow! Oh, okay. okay, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I have no idea who that is. Well, he was kind of a nerd, you know. Now, please don't do this. Yeah, I'm gonna cut you, man, unless you... Hey, whatever happened between you and, uh, what was it, Janice Peppers? We got married. What? Yes, no. yes. <laughs> no, we have a little girl and another on the way. Oh, that's awesome. Please, I have a family. Yeah? <laughs> and they're not gonna have you anymore unless you give me the cash. Now, hand it over. Okay, okay. Uh, here's a 20. Get, get to, to the 20. 20. Get to the 10. <laughs> Leland High School bound to win. Go, Leland! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we still remember that. <laughs> Let's do another football cheer. I was on marching band. I love all of those things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I kind of strain my voice yeah. begging for my life. Oh, Freeze, dirt back! <laughs> you gonna shoot me, man? Yeah, I will shoot you if you... What? Tyler Dixon? Jared May? Yeah! No! What? <laughs> Come here! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's football time. Football, football. Hey, and we gonna beat all Chargers, Chargers. You gonna shoot me? You couldn't even ask out Ashley Morris to prom. <laughs> you remember how scared you were? I totally forgot about that. Uh, I was such a nerd in high school. Um, uh, Ashley, will you go with me? <laughs> so you. <laughs> Dude, dude, can you believe that Jared Maine is pointing a gun at me right now? This is so cool. Wait, 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 you went to Leland High? Yeah, I've lived next to you since second grade. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you remember the pass? Oh. Well, when we won state? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I conducted a Star Wars themed Shut halftime. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's football time, it's football time. The Chargers didn't come, make no yeah, crap. Move that ball, ball up to the line. Ball. It's Chargers, Chargers, <laughs> got to get together oh, like yeah, this more often. So All right, nobody move! You don't have to do this! Hey, drop it! Ugh. Oh. You sure? Oh. I'm sorry, she caught me You're off guard, sorry? man! I'm oh, sorry! Wait, shh! Tyler Dixon? <laughs> Laura Tanner? Oh, oh, get hey, over hey. here! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, Laura. Oh, hey, Laura! Hey, Laura! Hey! Hey, it's me, Chad! Who's this guy? <laughs> I'm your brother. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Shake Chemistry is nutrition to the max. Take one shake a day to help you lose weight, build energy, and get healthy. To match the nutrition of one serving of Shake Chemistry, you would need to eat four cups of raw broccoli, seven whole carrots, ten cups of baby food, three nine-volt batteries, two cups of dragon blood, that thing Iron Man wears on his chest, two NBA teams, not the Celtics, season two of Sherlock, someone named Steve, one serving of Shea Chemistry, the military might of North Korea, a TARDIS, three endangered snow owls, and a shot of 
wheatgrass. Now that's a lot of food. Or get it all in one delicious shake. Shake chemistry, nutrition to the max. Don't make these at home; they will kill you. Matthew, yes. where were you born? In New Jersey. Where were you born? In New Mexico. You realize that both of our states that we were born in start with a new. New Jersey, New Mexico. We're not about old things. It's all about the new. I didn't even know this place existed. I know, right? I like to come here to study because no one's around, so it's really yeah. quiet, especially on evenings like this. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for helping me study, Adam. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you know a lot more about chemistry than I do. Uh, what me? No. Psh, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's not okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, although I am technically made of chemistry, so that's right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, nothing, let's just start with chapter two. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think we're on page 45. Yeah. Okay, so that mm -hmm. yeah. Part of what would it have me? <laughs> and a little bit of that. <laughs> anyway, I, I think the professor wanted us to learn how to balance reaction equations. Yeah, I need to go over that. It's about halfway down that page. And yeah, don't mind me. I'm just Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, that one. Homework. Yep. No. <laughs> oh, that one. Let me see it time, time again, time, time again. Oh, boy. Um, are you a custodian? Yeah. Uh, I'm a. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm a smart yeah. little fella. <laughs> yeah. Hey. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, is he someone you know? <laughs> no, I have no idea who that guy is. Oh, that's weird. Is he cleaning the air? I don't know. Um, sir, uh, oh. excuse me, what, what are you spraying? Oh. Fragrance. <laughs> Set the mood. What? <laughs> no, I, no, I don't know. No. No, I don't know. No, 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 We're just studying. We don't need fragrance. Oh, oh, that was definitely bathroom cleaner. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just try to ignore him and get some studying done. Okay. Okay, that is it. Request? I request you be silent. I don't know that one. No, it's not a song. We're just trying to get some studying done, so if you could stop playing your music. It's not really a violin. <laughs> a I, no, I know I that, but this. if you could just come back when we're not here, that would be great. Uh, serenade, you know, I uh, saw some uh, chemistry. Continue. Now, oh, please. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Just, uh... Oh, can you believe that guy? Do you think what he said is true? What? And that there's chemistry between us. Oh. Oh, no, no I, I, I don't know what he was talking about. Oh. <laughs> it was probably, probably just the chemistry books. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense yeah, 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 when you say yeah. it like that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait, uh, I can turn a vacuum hose into a flower. <laughs> Come oh. on. I want to speak to your manager. <sighs> Why does he keep coming back? It's not like there's nowhere else to clean right now. Yeah, seriously. <sighs> oh, perfect. Excuse me, there's a problem with one. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Oh, good to see you, buddy. What? Are you being serious right now? Why didn't you go get your manager? Oh, uh, manager. <laughs> oh, yeah, so uh, one of my employees, what was it? Of course, you're the manager. A, uh, magic? Magic was a vacuum. What are you doing? No, that's my homework. Oh, 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 no, no, that's the worst of a goose. Whitney, I hope you like this. Oh, actually I do. Really? Why? Because it came from you. 
I mean, honestly, I've liked you since the first day of class when you raised your hand to answer a question. I like you too. I just didn't know you were interested. Uh, you had me at amphoteric oxide. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, my work here is done. Thank you so much for watching 49 episodes of Studio C. Man, our 50th episode's gonna be lame. <laughs>